wildfires raging in California. Two of them exploded in size with frightening speed. The city of Malibu is at risk. Powerful, unrelenting 40 mile per hour winds. We're driving through Paradise, California. You can barely see anything. We have passed by hundreds of homes burning. The entire town of Paradise is gone. burned 70,000 acres in the first 24 hours. If you do the math and break it down, that's a rate of nearly 50 football fields a minute. We were just sleeping. As soon as we waked up, my mom said, we're leaving, Malibu's burning down. So we packed up our stuff and left. It burned down. The fire entered in the garage at 5 o'clock. Lost our home and all our cars, and we really appreciate how much everyone in the community is showing how much care and compassion. Thank you. My husband and I moved into the Seminole Springs neighborhood about a year ago, and we fully renovated our house. And then last Friday, it burned down to the ground. And so we're here just um, getting support from our community. We feel really fortunate for the kindness and generosity of organizations like this who are helping us out during this time. We lost everything. We lost our car, we lost our home. It's just been horrible, horrible. And I just, I thank everybody that's helping us. We've had so much help and people just reaching out to us and we just see the kindness in everybody and humanity. Thank you. To see what's happened here, nobody would have ever thought this could have happened. This is very sad to see it. My son was so frightened and uh, upset about it and everything, worried about me. And I couldn't tell you how I got out of there. I really couldn't tell you. My parents built the home in 82, 83. My mother was the architect. And, uh, that's it. We lost our home to the fire along with all of our belongings. Right now we're just looking for housing or some kind of shelter. It was just horrible up there the day it started. Uh, trees exploding, propane tanks exploding, lost everything, everything in the world. Things didn't go too good in our area. We lost every home in the neighborhood except one. Um, now we're here. If anybody needs help, we're glad to help you. The whole town of Paradise and Miguelia it seems like to burn in, in a couple hours is what it felt like, and, and where there's only one road out. So if that would have caught fire, we would have all burnt to death. Sometimes 24 hours, sometimes 48 hours to stay up there and fight the fires. Now imagine doing that kind of work for that many hours. It's like unbelievable. So they're true heroes. So we're at a, a senior resident living facility, and as you can see, uh, if you pan around, how quick the evacuation was with the walkers and wheelchairs left all over. Uh, Task Force 45 uh, on the 15th at 11 in the morning searched this building with zero victims and no personnel hazards. Even though I was aware that I was losing, most likely losing everything that I possessed, it was far more important uh, that I be actively involved than uh, simply being on vacation somewhere and unable to do anything. We still have about uh, 1,600 firefighters assigned to the fire. And I gotta tell you, uh, our firefighters and law enforcement were successful evacuating over 52,000 people in the height of this fire. Even though many of them knew that their own homes were burning, uh, we're looking at a total right now of a little over 18,000 structures that were destroyed by the fire. Uh, but we hang our hat on the 52,000 human beings that we were able to successfully evacuate. You got, yourself, you got, you your, you got you that. yourself out and you got your neighbor out. And your cat your cat got himself out, I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. He, he bolted, he ran, I'm sure of it.
I just wanted to really thank you, Bethany, for those gift cards because what we did, the four of us, we pulled them together and we now have secured a motel room for the next week. So thank you. Couldn't have done it without you and those gift cards. This is going to help a lot. Thank you very much. On the surf, it's devastating, but we're going to rebuild stronger. So that's it. We are humbled, completely humbled by the support of Be Strong for our firefighters and law enforcement.